Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well. What a shit day I've had, honestly. I mean, I won't go in the ins and outs of it, but firstly, it's the hottest day of the year, so I am sweating my tits off. I've got my little dress on again. I'm obsessed with this dress. I know I, I was kind of like, mm, don't know if I like it now, but I do. I really like this dress. The muff is free and breathing in a dress. I don't really wear them. So yeah, it's been a great day in that sense. But honestly, I live in a seaside town, so I, I'm so happy people are getting back to normal. I'm so happy. I do love seeing all the little shops, you know, with all the customers again. Everyone's dead happy. It's, it's great. Like, everyone's on holiday. Woohoo. But, but, the amount of tourists we've had today, it's the most I've ever seen. I have the worst road rage, so I'm just shouting at everyone to piss off left, right and centre. If I did drive past you, raging at you, then, um... Do apologise. Sweating my tits off, needed to go shopping. Everything was taking a lot longer than normal. People are parking in places that they shouldn't be parking. <laughs> right, it really, it riles me up, it really does. So, um, yeah, I've had to like go up the verge so many times. Like I was on a tilt, I was on a, like a, a bloody tilt like that at one point. People were parking on a little country road just to get to the beach. And I thought if I bloody farted, I'd be over, I'd, the car would go. I'm glad everyone's on holiday, I really am. I'm not a dickhead, but bloody hell. <laughs> what would take me about 40 minutes took me about three hours. That's where I'm raging. <laughs> I'm just venting to you all now. So yeah, I do apologize. As you know, I do waffle on, but you guys are great. And so I'm just venting. I'm letting you all know how my day's been, but I hope you lot have had a lovely day. I really do. Um, and if you are at the seaside, I hope you're having a great time. Like I'm not, I'm not a dickhead. I'm not like, yeah. See by the title of this video, I am doing another Heron haul. As you know, I love Heron, absolutely love Heron. Wake up the other morning, who's emailed me? Heron. <laughs> what? I actually thought it was a fake email, I'm not gonna lie. Um, asking if I would do another Heron haul, <laughs> so. Here we are, as you know, I do Heron hauls quite a lot on my channel. It is like my favorite frozen food store, plus everything else that you can get in there that isn't frozen. Like, it's my go-to, so yeah, I couldn't believe it, honestly. So everything in this video is kindly gifted by Heron. Wow, can't even believe I'm just saying that. I don't want you all to think that I am like, bragging or anything because I'm not I'm, I'm really not I was very shocked myself yeah please don't think I'm being a like dick bragging or anything because I'm really really not I'm really not like that honestly thank you Heron if anyone from Heron's watching thanks in this video I'm going to show you how you can feed your family on a budget for 50 pounds this isn't my skin meals by the way I am doing that like my skin meals is like dirt cheap like pfft. that is coming please bear with me that is coming this video I am going to show you everything that I managed to buy on a 50 pound budget so yeah that's what I'm going to do now it's just one of my normal hauls everything that I would buy a few extras in there as well because Heron do have some bangers in there every so often like they have things that you'll probably never see again which is the beauty of Heron that's what I love like everything's like 10 for a pound three for a pound or you'll never see it again so yeah there are some bits in there that I personally like to buy I'm going to show you like a week's worth of meals um so yeah that's what i'm doing now if you think you'll like this kind of video don't forget to hit like and subscribe and keep on watching i've just realized that i've done my brows well thick today <laughs> so i told you every day is different with the brows like as you know there is no order to my packing so yeah i'll kind of show you the meals if i can if they're all like together or i'll just show you them at the end but um i'm gonna show you these so corn sausages i mean i don't know who opened these and had pretty much the whole packet but anyway three packs of these for a quid at erin at the minute so if you like corn i prefer these ones because i love a cocktail sausage <laughs> i do like a little sausage but i feel like the meat ones you know when you take a bite you get something a bit hard or rubbery that you, you just know it isn't supposed to be there i mean i don't know what it is that's why I get these. And I have to say, I think they taste better than normal meat ones anyway. So these were three for a pound or 40 p each. I could only get two packets because like I said, the holiday makers are in full force. They are like wiping shelves. So um, yeah, there was only two left, but I was dead chuffed to get that anyway, because I do like them. I'm gonna start with this bag. So, oh, I think I might have a meal, have my first meal. So I picked these up. They look really nice, don't they? These are four Irish beef grill steaks. So they've got all like the pepper and seasoning on top. These were only like two quid and um, go with that i got some of these i feel like it's easier for me to get frozen green beans um they're already chopped can't be asked for chopping green beans i'm not gonna lie to you i cannot be asked <sighs> trying to line them up to chop the tips off i lose half of it so we have all been known to have green beans about this big because yeah i just i can't be asked with it so if you're already done it's quite a big bag so this will last us quite a few meals 
I may as well just do that. The boys really like these um, herb diced potatoes. So they're just like little squared ones. These were like 89p. So we'll use half of this bag, so then there's another half left. Um, but that's kind of like a meal. So we've got like the peppered steaks, the potatoes and the green beans and there's still potatoes left and still green beans left. I also picked these up as well. These look interesting. So these are iced donut mixes. Um, they're little ice lollies. I don't know if you can see. They're little like donut ice lollies. So vanilla flavoured ice cream coated with white chocolate and sugar strands. Um, they look quite nice. They were a quid. So these are from like where they have their XL range. The Heron, if you didn't already know, have like this XL range. So I'm not quite sure what the range is. Like, I, I don't really know. It's a lot cheaper than like other brands, like Bird's Eye and all that kind of stuff that you get. Really good value, like really good value. So you'll get a lot more for your money. I love that range. And they always have some interesting things on there as well. So yeah, it's always full of something. So grab some of these Cadbury's cookies. These were 49p. Um, really nice. Steve has got a right sweet tooth, so yeah, he will have that packet in like minutes. Also picked up some of these. So you get six brioche buns with chocolate chips in. My kids absolutely love these. Um, these are perfect for like breakfast or like a snack or if you're going on a picnic. Two for a pound, honestly, absolute bargain. So in Lidl, these can be anything up to a pound on their own. So yeah, absolute bargain. So I picked up these, right? They look really interesting. These are pretzels. Um, six for a pound these were. Six for a pound. These are like great for on the go or work. 99 calories per packet as well. So I got six for a pound. I did get more of the cheesy flavours because, um, you know, like a bit of cheese. These ones are easy cheesy. These ones are rock salt. These ones are cracked pepper. They suit me just fine. Sat on the sofa, a bit of Netflix with my pretzels, 99 cows. I'm on my next bag now and I have got a bargain. Absolute bargain. So these were from the party range, which I bloody love. I love Heron's party range. These are eight bubble bobble prawn bites. So it's bubbly batter filled with king prawn and vegetables seasoned with herbs and spices. How much do you think these were? 10p, 10p. All of their party range was pretty much on sale for 10p. But let me tell you, I got there at the wrong time because this is all that was left. I bloody love prawns, so I was really happy. But everything had been wiped out. Like, it's heaving where I live at the minute. So everything's pretty much wiped out. I also grabbed some bananas. Heron do usually have a really good fresh section. I have to break that down. If I don't break it down, my words ain't going to come out right. I do have a fresh section. There we go. There we go. I haven't got my words out. Basically, they've got a lot of fresh stuff. Wow, Faye. It was wiped out. As I said, I picked a really bad day. They usually have pretty much everything like potatoes, all your salad bits, all your fresh veg, but the shelves at mine were empty. So I literally could just get bananas. But if I had more of a choice, I would have picked up a little bit more. I wouldn't necessarily say Heron's fresh stuff is cheaper because um, it is more their frozen stuff that they like bang on. I would probably get my fresh stuff from like Aldi and Lidl. For example, like a six pack of tomatoes, at Heron is like a pound, whereas like at Aldi and Lidl, they're like 59p. So yeah, not necessarily good for fresh, but um, yeah, everything else like. I also picked up some of this Whitby Scampi. This is Hotel Scampi. I bloody love these with mushy peas and chips, loads of salt and vinegar, loads of ketchup. What we do as well, because um, I mean, like we live at the seaside. Fish and chips is the thing, like they're supposed to be anyway, like, but anyway, I won't, I won't get into that. But chip shops are not as cheap as they used to be. Not when I was a kid anyway, like you could get a large bag of chips like dirt cheap round here it's just like poof. but anyway so what we do erin bag of chips this big bag is a quid you can oven or fry these which is great we get these chips for a quid and then we either have this so you get eight fish portions in this like eight this is like two pound fifty two pound fifty for these you get eight portions of this which will last way more than one meal and these as well don't knock it till we try it people these are really nice if anything i would say they're very small 12 pork sausages in batter a battered sausage job done these are 189 it is obviously pricier than normal sausages and stuff but they are worth it they taste just like a battered sausage so at first i was a bit like well i i don't know i don't know if i can you know put that in my mouth even says at the bottom chip shop tastes straight from the oven i have to say it is banging it really is i'm a bit like with some things but yeah they're really nice also as well if you want like the full chip shop experience let me tell you heron do it's a curry sauce in a box and um, it's a powdered one that you put cold water in um straight on the hob fork it a bit um yeah i promise you it tastes exactly like chip shop curry sauce like you will never get it from a chip shop again honestly it's amazing something else that i haven't seen in heron before that i picked up are these um goat's cheese cubes 
and um, I thought this would be really nice in a salad. 59p this was. You get quite a bit in there. So I thought that would be quite nice with a salad on some potatoes. And I also managed to get some potatoes, sweet potatoes, £1.29 for four. I'm thinking like goat's cheese on a salad with like sweet potato and stuff. Um, got Sam's hair on it now. I also picked these up as well, four for a pound on these um, Tropicana juice drinks for the boys. I would usually just get a big carton of juice, which we do nine times out of 10. It goes a lot further, but the kids really wanted these. So um, yeah, I got some of these for like on the way home. I've got loads of things for like packed lunches as well. So yeah, definitely worth a look. I also picked these up as well. It's not something I would usually buy, but I wanted to show you just in case there was anybody into this kind of thing. So a pack of four of these were 49p. I also grabbed some of these as well. Six Barney Bears for a quid. Um, there's only three left because yeah, they can't help themselves on the drive home. These were four for a pound actually so they're a chocolate bar crispy bar with coconut and caramel in milk chocolate they were four for a quid they're quite weighted quite a solid bar um quite weighted what what a fat shit i am for anything like me and steve we do have like a bit of a sweet tooth we do get comfortable a bit of netflix coffee biscuits stuff like that you have to have your treats in people like eat healthy great by all means like do it obviously be healthy don't limit yourself do you know what i mean don't don't feel guilty having a biscuit or two or ten in the evening um but we got these as well hobnob creams how nice they look i do love an hobnob so i picked these up these look quite interesting so these are chunky croquettes um six cod and chorizo or chorizo chorizo i, I don't even know in a cracked black pepper crumb these look really nice one pound fifty these were i think with green beans and a sweet potato like yeah these look really nice also grab two packets of pitters do use these for pitta pizzas now my kids do not like tomato puree like the actual paste so i have got some ketchup here that they prefer but yeah these are dead easy just to make um for lunchtime ideas dinner ideas you don't even need anything fancy you just use a bit of ham or whatever sandwich full of ham deli meat we've got in at the time tomato ketchup for the base and a bit of cheese winning honestly you don't need no fancy stuff like it's so simple i've come to this angle now just to switch it up a little bit um but i got some doritos a six pack as you can see they've already been eaten half of them so we're now like a three pack i forgot how to pronounce it again i know some of you in the comments did um like kind of sound it out for me but i forgot like honestly um quesad quesadilla you can literally put anything in the middle of these um it doesn't have to be like chicken or whatever whatever you know they advertise you can do anything from like beans with lentils in mexican seasoning in there bit of cheese job done bit of salad on the side if you wanted you don't need to like spend a lot of money on all these um ingredients and stuff i also picked this up as well it looks very interesting it's got a pretty little handle um it's dog food so you get 1.5 kg of this it's scottish salmon with dill and spinach guy's gonna love that i just think yeah looks really nice you buy we donate there you go look good deed of the day don't feel so bad for shouting at all the holiday makers now but um yeah two quid that was like i've said before i do like to switch up the animal food every so often um steve picks up some of these because he loves these these are kind of like his midnight snack i'll say where are you going and then he'll like creep upstairs with one of these it's quite cute really these are like 40 for each I also picked this up. I think this looks very nice. It's in a nice glass bottle. So this is sparkling pomegranate and elderflower juice. I think it looks very nice. It's only 79p. So you can feel posh for 79p. Well, I do anyway. Looks nice. A few ice cubes in that. I think that'll go down nice. I do have the choice of the um, brioche buns. That were two for a pound. Or this humongous box of Kellogg's. Um, for two quid so they do like to have cereal as well the boys do like to put a banana on their cornflakes so this massive box is going to last ages um 550 grams i think i'd probably get a better value for cornflakes um at somewhere like tesco aldi lidl i do find their own brand very cheap so i could probably get a similar size box of cornflakes for like 55p but still it's not bad and um we can make like cornflake cakes and stuff with melted chocolate also grab some eggs as well i think eggs are like a staple piece um especially if you are on a budget but obviously you can make an omelette and stuff make egg made of sandwiches we have ham egg and chips stuff like that um these were a pound and i also got two cornish pasties i bloody love a cornish pasta one of these with some chips and beans like perfect what else did i get so I also got some of this porridge to go cinnamon bars. Get two squares. These were 39p. 
and I thought all oh, they look really nice because I do like cinnamon. You can have them cold or warm. Some of these 50p for some Yorkshire puddings. Um, there to go with a meal that I'll show you in a minute. And fish cakes, 99p for them. So again, if I'm doing the chippy dinner, I've got a choice of battered sausage, a big bit of fish or that. And these as well, how nice do these look? So Whitby Seafood, four smoked haddock and pancetta fish cakes. They look really nice, don't they? Quid. Also picked up some spicy nuggets, £1.50 for a whole bag of spicy nuggets. Bargain, 100% chicken breast as well. Um, I prefer to eat chicken breast because I don't really like all the, the giblets and bits and bobs and veins and all that. Turns my stomach, honestly. But um, a bit of chicken breast, I'm all right with. Heron do this like kind of ham. Um, they have all sorts. They have like pastrami's, that what it is? It tastes so nice. I wish I'd have picked some up now. This is the kind of thing I would put on a pit of pizza with a bit of cheese. Um, if you want to put anything else on it, you know, fresh chopped tomato or some a bit of pepper, onions, obviously, you know, you do you. But if I've not really got much in, um, pit of pizza, ham, cheese, tomato sauce for the base, um, yeah, that's all I do. That's only a quid. Got some of this chocolate, 30% less sugar, eh? Steve picked that up. It's like 59p, um, which is not bad for Cadbury as well. Also picked some of these up. Again, great for packed lunches, like it says. And um, it's also really good just for snacking on. Like, it's got banana in. Kids love stuff like this. It's like perfect child size. These were 59p. And this as well that I really want to show you, 29p for this seasoning. Um, Gluten-free. So I know some people struggle, and this is gluten-free, barbecue pulled pork. Their Excel range as well. I also picked some of these pizzas up. These are 59p. 59p, and they are loaded, honestly, with topping and stuff. Well, that one's just let me down, and it? It's all fell down there. But they're only 59p. They are really good, and they're a little bit cheaper than, like, Aldi's range and stuff. I say I love this Excel range. And also these, which I've shown you before. We have a cat. What are you doing? What are you doing? These are pickle fries and oh my God, these taste amazing. Let me tell you all, these are so expensive in other shops. Pound, they were a quid. So that's another meal idea with your pizza. Also picked up some jacket potatoes. These were like pound thirty. These ready baked ones I do find are quite a decent size. Also picked up some ketchup, but again, I probably wouldn't get it from here usually because you can get like a big one for like 45p. Um, from like Aldi and Lidl and stuff like like the lower branded one so yeah I probably wouldn't buy it usually but this was a pound same with the mayonnaise as well um that was a pound and the milk I have used some I needed a coffee when I got home after that stressful drive honestly but yeah I got some milk as well so picked up some toilet roll as well this was four for a pound hello back here again I was going to pick up some alpha bites um and then I seen this big bag for a quid you get so many in here. If somebody in the comments said hamwiches were like, bleh, like rank, but I love hamwiches. I said I was a bit funny with me, but I really like a hamwich. I also like, please tell me I'm not alone. Please tell me because Steve thinks I'm absolutely disgusting for this. But I like the kebab meat that you can get in the frozen section. Hear me out, hear me out. I love frozen kebab meat. Tell me I'm not alone. I think it tastes great. Sometimes even better. Controversial. Also picked up these as well. Drummers, these remind me of being a kid. So um, yeah, kids have them, love them. These were two for three quid. Um, I got some utterly butterly. This is a big ass tub. It's like a kg of butter um, for £1.49. Picked up some of these petty flu, petty flu, Greek style ones. Got quite a long date on them as well. Got another two week on these, 39p. 39p? They're like bigger than the normal ones as well. You know, like the petty flu is like really tiny. Got some tuna, two for a pound. I'll mix this with mayo. Um, pop it on my jacket spuds. Steve got his uh, Branston beans. A lot of people in the comments did agree with Steve and said like these were the elite bean. Like this is Steve's favorite kind of bean. Um, <laughs> yeah, one pound 25 for three. So that'll go with like some of the frozen bits. Also picked this up as well, two pound 59. £2.59 for this joint. Um, look at that. You get it stuffed as well. So you get that massive joint, which I'll cook, slice up, and whatnot. We'll have that on Sunday. I also picked up some of this coffee as well. It isn't my usual coffee. It isn't. But I thought for them times that I do run out, because I do. I do run out of my sachets quite a bit. I thought I'd get this. Whole bean instant coffee. Sounds posh. It's in the, you know metal tin and lastly i picked up some of this cathedral city one pound 89 for how many grams do you get in here 
300 grams for £1.89. Probably get cheese cheaper from Aldi and Lidl, but um, it's not bad for Cathedral City. Something else I picked up as well, which I thought was absolutely banging, like absolutely banging, especially if you're an ice cream lover. So I got these cart door ice creams, the minis. They were four for a pound. So there's chocolate, strawberry. Also picked up some of this as well, if anybody really likes this brand. Um, these ones are cookies and cream. And I also got the strawberry and cream, which I thought looked really nice. Bit battered from the car journey on the way home. Um, but yeah, they were three for a pound. Like I said, perfect size. Like that's an absolute bargain. Like you all know, I do shop all over. So like I do, I shop everywhere. I can't just stick to one shop. But Heron is a shop that I always go back to because like they just have a bit of everything in there. This will keep us going for over a week, to be honest. Like there's breakfast, lunch and dinner in there. Um, and obviously the little bits that I bought. So I've got my posh drink. Sam's got his posh food. Um, in Shop Dead Savvy and like, you can get a real bargain and you can really go cheap. I am gonna do a skimp meals video. It is coming soon. I'm gonna do my budget under 20 pound for a week for a family of four. Like, that's three, <laughs> four. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna do that video very soon. Thank you so much to Heron for like supporting me in this video. I'm really thankful, honestly, like thank you. Yeah, thanks. Please leave a like, share and subscribe, that would mean a lot. And um, follow me on Instagram if you want to page 202 And I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world right now, you're having a great day or evening. And I'll see you in my next video.